Ever since I was a kid, I was told that mobile technology could be dangerous, and my parents grew cacti to absorb the waves. But in reality, no harmful radiation is emitted by a computer. If it were, someone would have already noticed and made a regulated device, but that hasn't happened yet. There is still a chance of uncertainty and myths associated with devices that most people are unsure of. So let's see if radio waves from your cell phone and computer affect your health. While it's true that cell phones emit radio frequency energy, also known as radio waves, that can be absorbed by tissue near the antenna, this absorption does not increase the risk of cancer. It's not just radio waves that are emitted from phones. There are two categories of waves, ionizing, which includes X-rays and cosmic rays, and non-ionizing, which includes radio waves and the visible light spectrum. Let's start with the first one, ionizing waves. Ionizing waves are more harmful because they have high frequency, which means they have high energy. But non-ionizing has low energy and does not damage or mutate DNA. The only possible side effect of prolonged exposure is the risk of heating the area of skin that is exposed to the waves. Non-ionizing waves have minimal heating, are not significant, and do not measurably change body temperature. In other words, there isn't really a worry. Most research has been inconclusive since there is not a significant increase in cancer risk due to cell phone use. Scientists are still trying to look into its health effects because of an increasingly wide use of cell phones. Studies have connected laptops to problems such as fatigue, headaches, and insomnia. Having too much of anything isn't good for you, so here's three ways you can stay safe. One, if you're using a laptop, don't put it directly on your body. Or if you're using a phone, try to use headphones instead of putting it directly on your face. The heat from your laptop can raise the temperature of your cells and disturb the cell's natural biochemistry. Long term, it can cause skin irritation and rashes, but more dangerously, these overheated cells become weaker and degrade faster. 2. Mark Perlow, a medical director at the Georgia Reproductive Specialist, states that the sperm activity of a healthy male adult will drop from more than 40% if the temperature inside testicles is raised 1 degree for more than 20 minutes. According to tests, keeping a computer directly on the lap can raise the temperature inside testicles for up to 5 degrees. And 3. Laptop radiation has been linked to both male and female infertility. EMFs from laptops can fragment and damage DNA structure, so pregnant women should avoid keeping them close to their bodies to prevent potential problems. Radio waves are generally harmless, that is, unless you're using them to watch an excess number of cat videos. That's another problem altogether. All in all, don't believe the hype people. Get out there, be a scientist, and do your own research.